Yeah. For sure. Okay. You're live. Oh, we are live? <laughs> I don't know. Somehow there's got to be a countdown or something. Hi. Welcome back. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint with some oil paint today. Not my normal thing. I haven't really done a lot of oil painting in years because of the solvent issues. And with my lung issues, I can't really use them. So Cobra has sent me from Royal Talons some water mixable oil paints a couple months ago, I guess it was, and, and maybe more than that now. And I actually really am enjoying it. The characteristics of the oil, the, the, the way that I don't have to use solvents, and the fact of the matter is you've got all the painting mediums that you normally do, glazing mediums and painting mediums, quick dry, all the stuff. But the, it's all formulated to be water soluble. So we're just going to paint some stuff today. I don't paint regularly with oil paints. So you're going to have to bear with me. And we're just here to play with the material. I'm a mixed media artist. And I'm probably going to do things that make some oil painter cringe. So I'm David Austin at davidaustingallery.com. And my wife is here, too. Say hi, Crystal. Oh, hi. Sorry. She's running the cameras clearly. And I'm also doing this on something that is not actually primed. This is raw wood. And I know those of you that are experienced painters are going to be like, no. But I like the texture. I like the um, adventure, the exploration. We, that's, that's how you learn things. That's how you try new things. You explore, right? My son and I were talking about exploring yesterday. We were going on an adventure to see uh, Percy and, and Thomas and Wayne, right? Yeah. That was a lot of fun. It was. We had a good time. He's like, well, what are we going to do or what, what's going to happen there and, and all this? And I'm so concerned about the idea of the object, so to speak. You know, what is, what is the point of it? How, how do we do this? Managing expectations. In artwork, I don't really think you should necessarily have expectations all the time. Clearly, if you're doing a commission, you're probably going to have to. So I'm just right out of the tube, as you can see, moving around that paint. I really like this paint a lot. You can mix this the same on a palette like any other oil paints, which is just really a pleasant way to go, too. I don't have a lot of patience. I think it's the ADD that kicks in for me. You can see you can go up to 50% of water to straight paint with this. And you get brilliant, brilliant color. Look at that brown. Just love that color. You can actually go more than 50%, truthfully. But don't expect the results to be traditional results of oil painting. But you know our motto, create without fear. <laughs> I'm just going to take the blade of this and do some very strong lines across. It's going to build up the surface. And so if you follow this at all, you know that I like a lot of texture. It either appears to be texture or it is physical texture. That comes from my sculpture background, from doing the public art, from uh, working in ceramics, wood and steel, and, and so forth. Now, I am working with that, but on a much more 2D level. If you will. So we're going to build the layers up. I'm going to put a big, thick layer on, and then I'm going to scrape through that to create some really interesting effects. I can find a brush. I've been in here a little while, Kristen, and my brush just smelled. Yeah, I know. <laughs> She's like, yeah, they sure do. So I just have some. Look at that. We can blend it with a brush just like we do any other oil paints. Except, you know what I'm not do using? Solvents. <laughs> no solvents. No solvents involved. Happy. Look at that. Except that it's Well, that was the, just the brushes. <laughs> I am terrible about maintaining my brushes. I'm really, 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 really awful. 
Well, I don't know. They're really in there. Really awful about it. I'm cruel to my brushes. I like me in my closet. Yeah, well, that's. <laughs> we don't talk about. What is it? We don't talk about Bruno. We don't talk about their closet. There's the first movie reference for the day from Encanto. What is it? What's the name of that one? They don't talk about Bruno? Oh, God. I don't remember the name of it. Oh, anybody remember the name of the movie? It's a cartoon. So I'm using clearly using the brush, and I'm just pulling that paint around and creating some different gradients using the brush. I don't know what brush this is. Is it just a brush? There's a new product coming out. Kristen, uh, for brush care. Yeah. And Royal Talents, who is our sponsor, I'm an ambassador with them actually for mixed media. You know what they told me? They said, even you should find it easy to use. You're more apt to use it when you're doing your work. So I'm excited to get to this brand new product coming out pretty soon. You can see right here on our channel. So I am an abstract artist. Clearly, just keep water back over here. I should probably change that. Here. Not right now. Okay, I won't. I won't change the water in my in my pinky uh, brushless jar. I thought this was a liquid black. So what is this? Well, I think it's So again, this is just a quarter inch plywood. People always ask, well, how do you know which one to use? And I said, through experimentation and the guy that gets the fix for me, Mr. DeSanto, down the street, older gentleman, been in the lumber business forever, love this guy. And he carries exactly what I want to use. But it has to be water resistant, otherwise it curls like crazy. He's like, why are you covering it with black? Well, I'll show you in a minute. Don't worry. I told you that. I think you did actually. I think you can do it. I, my, my wife is brilliant. I know you can do it. Make some more linear lines. I'm, I'm more just trying to show you, to demonstrate maybe, to that we got to play. You know, you got to play with the material. Why don't you go learn? Yes, you can take class after class after class. You can. You can take classes. I offer classes once in a while. Um, but eventually you got to do. And the best way to learn is through making mistakes with this material. Let's face it, not all of us are going to be Rembrandt or Renoir or, <laughs> or, or a Dutch uh, reformist painter or whatever. You know, I, I mean, I, I will be lucky if I sell my work at the art show this weekend. And have to get stumped. That's right. You heard me. Um, so I think it's important to to recognize that you not to get so caught up. I'm giving you permission. Not me permission. I'm giving you permission to just make, just create. Okay. Have fun for the sake. This is not tension in the day. Painting should be any art. Should be a meditative process. It really should be. So this is just the white, titanium white. And I'm I was confused because they don't use titanium. Uh, I believe they do, but somebody on here is bound to correct us on that. If I'm wrong. <laughs> no, that that is one of the advantages. One of the nice things that World Talent is trying to do, and, and other manufacturers do, is they're trying to get as much of the toxicity out of the art supplies as possible, make it much safer. Um, those of you that have followed us know that my son and I paint together quite often. But he and I do not paint with certain kinds of material because of the toxicity levels. I'm just, you know, it's fine. I'm wearing gloves, clearly. Other kinds of things like sprays, I'll wear a mask. Always wear a mask when you're using a spray, please. I worry about your safety, everybody. Now, isn't that cool? Look at that. So we did an underpainting, and now we're doing a layer on top of it using the Torbra titanium white straight out of the tube. 
and there's moisture in the board in the paint. And you can see how it grabs certain areas more than others, creating this really, really fascinating effect. We're just going to work our way right down this. One of the reasons I hadn't used a lot of oils previously, other than the minerals, I mean, the sort of my solvents involved, has been the fact that you need room to store these for drying because they do take a while to dry. And there are many manufacturers now have different kinds of mediums for quick drying. I don't, I don't know the science behind them. I, I, I just don't, I don't want to know the science necessarily. I know the basics. There's plenty of references to know the science behind it. I just want to paint. Oh, come on. You got it. You got it. I mean, just look. Isn't that just fascinating? It's just fascinating. I didn't quite space that out right. When I do this normally, I might have a just the right size palette knife to do this. I'm using my whole body to draw it down to try and keep it a pretty steady look. That is super cool. I want to say I can go a little bit this way. So I can blend more and more across. Build up more layers, right? And this is where it gets to be even more fun is building the layers. And then you know what we're going to do? We're going to carve through some of them too. It's making a nice, fuzzy landscape like color. I mean, to me, that looks like, like a pond, like water. We've got some brown down here toward the shoreline and for some trees. Another time, we'll cover some of the mediums. But I'm not going to do the mediums today. I don't, I'm going to have to pick one and just work on one because we're only going to do this for half hour today, guys. Hey, Maggie. Welcome to Maggie! Art show. Art show fun coming up. Good to see you. I hope your book signing thing went well the other day. And I'm going to do it again. Draw some lines through, create some texture. Trade without fear, everybody. This is our motto. We have said this for years now. And I'm so gratified to see some of our friends starting to use that kind of term. And thankfully, gratefully, like Sue, giving us credit for that, which I really appreciate. And we didn't copyright it. So we can do lots of subtle techniques at this point. And as this dries, we can come back in with the charcoal. You saw me using charcoal earlier. And you can draw into this. You can scrape into it. That is the nice thing about the oil is that I can come back to this and I can work this further and you know, get more detail in it. Um, let the colors bleed suit. So some of these colors will blend together a little bit over time. Not a lot. It depends on how much water you've put in it. Now we're just going to do this. Just a little. Let's see on the camera. I'm blocking that. Right? I think we need a wave. Ready for a wave? Just carving through different layers. Leave some areas for your eye to rest a little bit. You know, to take a break from all of the stuff going on. My, my images get very complex. The other nice thing about this oil is that you can build up really thick, very impasto. Here's some very thick parts down here that may or may not stay. I may take them out. Again, that's the nice thing on the oils is if you don't like it, you can scrape it down later. Tomorrow, I can come back and scrape much of this down. Or you can wait and you can carve through the layers. If you make it thick enough, then you can actually physically carve with a blade uh, and, and create some really interesting techniques that way. All right, you have to warn me when the time is up. Yeah, well, okay. Am I only? <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> you have 15 minutes to go. Oh no. <laughs> oh, what am I going to do? I, I was looking for the charcoal I had in my hand like 
20 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago. Yeah, we had a quarter. Let's put another poll over this. In fact, let's do the glazing. Here's the that's a quick drying. And come back to us a little later and let's see what this looks like. You know, keep an eye on our social media. This is the quick dry material, and this is exactly the way you probably shouldn't do it. All right, everyone on Instagram, I'm heading over to TikTok. You can head over to our YouTube to finish. Bye. See you, Insta. So this is a quick dry material. You're supposed to work fat over lean with oil paints. Um, I've said this before. I I just want to paint sometimes. And this is new to be using the oil paints again. I haven't used it for years. And but I have to get over the fear of oil paints a lot of people are intimidating. They don't need to be intimidated. They just need to start somewhere. So that was a quick dry. And, and one of the things that I'm having a lot of fun with with oils is trying something that I'm pretty sure isn't normal, quote unquote, and see what the result is. Is it going to have that long term stability of, you know, the, the ancient, and the, not the ancients, the, the old masters, right? Maybe, maybe not. Um, it might degrade differently, it might age differently, it might be harder for restorers in the future. I don't care. <laughs> I, want, I want to be here now, creating right now. What, what restorers do with my paintings is up to them, and it's their problem. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, everybody, on TikTok. Here. I'm just painting. Good to see you. We are also live on YouTube with the What are we doing on the board? We are taking the oil to the wrong way. Most likely at several junctures. <laughs> this is a glazing medium. So again, this is all water mixable paints. Water mixable. And that's from Royal Talents. So I am a mixed media ambassador for. I'm reintroducing this to TikTok here. Because now, you, now you've shifted to them. I can't keep track. We've got YouTube going steady though. Yes. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to try and, and, and mix up the blades here real quick. Um, and I'm just trying to decide on what color. There is a lot of colors. They've got the artist uh, one, and then they've got the student grade. The only real difference is the level of pigmentation. Uh, if you're paying for the more expensive paint, the general rule of thumb is it's a higher pigment load. You knew that, right? I did. Yeah. So I paid, you know, well, I didn't pay, but I got these that have a higher pigment load. And I like that. So I'm just trying to think what I want to make my glaze out of. Here is a fascinating thing, and I have other, I, I like oil sticks from a different company. They're in the stick form. We don't have that oil talent right now. Who knows? Maybe I can talk to you. But we're going to, um, I got the thing to extra light. Um, we're we're going to, what I'm trying to say is that you can mix other oil paints with the Cobras. And still get an element of the, you will still be able to mix it with water because the, the chemical, the treatment that they do, not chemical, but the treatment they do to make these water mixables. So for all the artists that they were doing that you don't know, um, traditional oil will not mix with water. Yeah. These are special. They are, they are a special. They are a special. <laughs> But I'm going to do something even more unclear. I'm going to put this glaze on it. And it will be, I probably put too much pigment in there, but it looks better. So you can do traditional glazing. I've already put uh, the dry on here. And later I'm going to see what happens. Since I put the quick dry down first. And now I'm doing it here. I tracked them because now I'm starting to think about the painting more than we're on the show. Yeah, it's not I am doing it. I'm getting in the zone, man. In my zone. So, this is a glazing medium. It generally thins it out. It's a nice little layering effect. 
the, the nice thing about the oils is because you can build up layers. The light wire is so impressive as the light pushes through the layers, reflects back, and creates a luminosity that you can't get with most other materials very easily. And this is one of the reasons I am particularly interested in these oil paints. And I'm not, I, I was traditionally trained, so the last time I actually was trained in oils was way back in 1980. <laughs> <laughs> so for me, this is kind of new territory in many respects. Because we didn't have this technology back then, it didn't exist. Yeah. And my eyes are fine. We're not dealing with harsh chemicals. Yeah, you can see I'm pulling paint from various places and redistributing, mixing, blending as we go. And I know some of the stuff I'm doing will create some crazing, some cracking, and I am absolutely okay with that. Again. I'm gonna let the art historians, if there are any for me, <laughs> worry about respiration and maintaining them over time. Yeah, it's not your job. Oh my job. Yeah, I, there's other people that can argue that point, and I think that's fine, but it's not, it's not my thing. Right? It's not my thing. I'm just happy to play, to explore. It's like when we, we always talk about the conditioning people received in education, right? Early on, you can't yeah. paint. Example because you can't paint, I don't know, you know, a, a turkey, an accurate turkey <laughs> or an owl or that whatever. Dog, yeah, and and the thing is, I it's a shame that happens, and we, we try to encourage in our five year olds to just experience it, just experience it. It needs sometimes it's so wrapped up in just mixing and paint <laughs> that you forget about the painting itself. You know what? You can explore too. Welcome, everybody. Who's here today? So I'm just using my blade here to scribe through the oil, create some additional technique and texture. Texture. I'm trying to say. Happy little trees. Happy little happy trees. Little well, you and, you and that's the nice thing is you can do the happy little trees. You know, it can be you can do things that a little bit of script you know, I do have to say because it takes a long time to dry these properly that they do to occupy a lot of my rack my paintings racks all the new racks in fact yeah. are, are getting full already hey everybody on TikTok if you want a two camera view head over to our YouTube channel hey I found the charcoal <laughs> now it probably won't make a lot of marks but it isn't making some Particularly where it has soaked into, and it has. I'm using a non, a non prime quarter inch plywood. It's not prime. See, I told you I was going to paint all up. Doing everything yeah. wrong. So, and, and, but the thing is, you can see this is still wet, and I'm able to use charcoal or soft pastel and draw into this and create some more interesting shapes, locking some things in. Do a lot with architecture lately too, and I'm fascinated by all of that, all of what that means. So now I'm just playing with some lines going back in. That's a quika, I think, down there that I'm hearing yeah. on the music. Ooh. Oh, she, you know she's going to ask every I single time. Ask. Maggie, are you? You're still here? I have a Oh, she, maybe she came on the. Maggie's a good friend of ours. She's another painter and a writer, an artist. And she's very, very talented. Very motivated. And a great, great friend who always encourages as well others. So we've done a lot of oils and now I'm, I'm going in with the charcoal and I'm just making some lines. And the nice thing again with this oil, it 
then I'll be able to come back later, probably dig into it some more, make some more layers if I want. And really, I'm enjoying what's happening, I'm enjoying the structure I'm laying out here. There's some hints of plants, there's hints of buildings, you know, uh, I didn't bring the people in. And as I'm drawing through, I'm going through the layers. I, I don't know if they can see much of that, but you can dig through different layers. And the original surface, this is why I don't, this is why I don't like my surface a lot. I like a raw surface because the pigment will soak into there. And I carve through the top layer, and you see that original underpainting peeking through. And I can, it's like a surprise. It's like, oh, look at that. You know? The truth behind the curtain. What lies beneath. Yeah. As the case may be. So now I certainly have a lot in there. I can come back in with another one of my favorite and if you're wandering around the studio, take it over that way. So I'll do it with this plastic version. And now we can take and do some of that scraping through the layers. Just going to dig in a little bit. You paint kind of like a sculpture because you weren't sculpting. Yeah. And I feel like you want to add a lot of material just so that you can wait. So I can carve it out. Yeah. So people that don't know that. Wasting, I'm sure many of you do. So that just means you're taking material away. So stone carving is often that. That's the wasting method. Carving into wood chunks, which I've been playing with outside, is a wasting method. So I'm making some surface in there. And I've got now some paint. I'm going to do something else to it. Maybe I'll do a little building over here. Indication. It kind of looks like it's windows. I'm going to come right down and break that line. Welcome, everybody, for joining us today. We are going to go Are you? <laughs> Nicely said. So, just some gestures. I'm enjoying bringing that oil paint around. This is the water mixable paint we're talking about all morning. Well, we've only been on here for a while today, right? Three minute countdown. Okay. Only, only 30 minutes in. Um, can we do something radical now? Yes, please. Why do I have any red? <laughs> no, but you know what? We had a lot of fun, and I told you you can mix other oils with the cobra, and they become, to a certain extent, also water mixable. We won't be able to demonstrate that much, but this is RNF sticks, and I'm gonna. I can get it out of there. Maybe I won't be able to do that well if I can't get it out. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. It's stuck in there. So I can't do that at all. You know what I could do is something completely bizarre, although I like this one. If I want to really take it to that kind of level, you know. Let's do something right here. A little bit of red. I don't know. A bit of red down. Sure. I've used the brush a little bit. You saw earlier in the video the brush, and now I'm just using the palette knife and just going to move it around. And you can see because of the, the, the viscosity of this paint, I can cover it really well. This is still really wet, but it's allowing me to really make some good coverages. But I can also mix it now right on the board. Blend it right in there. So that's just mixing right on the board. Using the edges even. Let's take this and do this real quick. That one more over here. And I'm trying to use some basic design principles by seeing, carrying color around, triangles, quadrilaterals, things like that. Look at how that blends so nicely. Creating myself a little gradient. I don't like that so much, so I'm going to scrape some of it down. Gestures. Cool. So. Today's conclusion is paint without fear. 
agree without fear. Use the hashtag. Let us know. We like to troll that and see what you all are under or what you're up to, rather. And have some fun. Try new material this week. Even if it's an inexpensive one, check your junk drawer. There's always materials you haven't used. Before. So many. So many. Yeah, our is huge here. And uh, please uh, stay in touch and let us know what you're up to. We'd always like to hear that. Make sure you use the hashtag here on your post with your That's art right. so we can see it. Go check out Royal Talons. They have some amazing different materials. Some that you didn't even know they carried. Available at some uh, Michael stores as well. And they have other stores to help us with them. Like I can carry several people. We love working with them. I'm a mixed media ambassador with them. My name is David Austin and my beautiful wife, Kristen. Hello. We love all of you as well. Everybody take care. We care. We hope to see you soon. Bye.